Hey, what's up you guys, Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video. As you can see, we have the 7130 and the sprayer here and set up and ready to rock and roll. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to get started on putting down a little bit of herbicide, so that way we can uh, try to prevent as many weeds as possible in this field. try to at the very least try preventing the weeds if we can this thing's getting a little bit off on me here getting a little far over the grass there and deciding to catch some trees which we don't want we don't need to rip a boom off of our sprayer. Not that it actually would, but... I mean, one cool thing if they decided to implement into the game would be, uh... You know, making it so you have to actually repair, repair things. Um, I mean, yeah, they have it so that things need service and whatnot. But, uh, making it so that you actually had to like physically go in you had to buy parts like that'd be kind of cool if you ask me you know making it a little more realistic to where you gotta actually work on your equipment and that's not going about that I want to whatsoever We're going to try and get as much of this done today as we can. That way tomorrow we can start on some soybeans. And once we have our soybeans and sunflowers in the ground, then we'll... Uh, I guess actually once we're done planting in general, then we'll probably start uh, putting some hay on the ground. Once all of our crops are in. I'm gonna spray a little of that field, but that's alright. That's our field and that needs to get done anyways, so not quite alright with that. Spraying in our fields definitely isn't going to take near as long as planting or anything else does. These things have got a wider span than uh, our tillage or planting tools do, so. So, both of these two are. I mean, <laughs> come to think of it, I mean, I guess most of our fields are small, but they're about right for our operation. 
I guess Grandpa sure knew what he was doing when he uh, bought the land. Bought the land that his equipment could run. At least halfway efficiently. And then once our fall harvest is done and our wheat is all bailed up and hauled off, or our wheat straw, I should say, is all bailed up and hauled off, uh, then we'll probably be running our side dresser over all of this land um, to put down some more fertilizer uh, for the fall. And then, of course, when we go back and plant next spring, that'll put down more fertilizer as well. this guy folded up and uh, drive on over to our next field. So we're going to do this one over here first. Go over, back over here and do these two. Thankfully these gates are wide enough. Just barely wide enough, but they're wide enough. So we'll let this get unfolded so we know kind of where where we gotta position ourselves. up just a little bit because it almost went in the ground there. Uh, thankfully, I don't see any weeds yet. So we don't have any that have come up. But uh, this will definitely help prevent them from coming up. to avoid catching that, but I am a little closer than I thought than I would. Did I miss it this time? Nope. It's always hard to judge where to turn or when exactly to turn to miss the fence line with this. Sometimes a little trickier than a person would think. Wrong way. Let's go ahead and drop that down some. Got two fields fully done, and this one's only gonna take us another couple more minutes. So we'll be able to get all of our spraying done in one video. 
which is kind of what I was thinking was going to happen anyways. kind of figured we could get most, if not all, of it done in uh, one video, so... We still got a lot of spraying left to do. A lot of work left for this tractor before it can get put away for the year, and it's already got. Oh, well, this one only has 0.2 hours on it. So I mean, this one don't have too terribly many hours. I guess it didn't take all that long for uh, all of our. Fertilizing or spreading of lime, I guess. We should be able to get the rest of it in one pass. And from the looks of it, we should be able to uh, spray everything on one load of herbicide. I mean, I could turn the usage up and make it so we use a little bit more, but I might just keep it where it's at for now, just for the purpose of uh, getting more field work done, spending more time getting field work done, and less time driving back and forth to uh, fill this. I mean, at least when it comes down to the herbicide, we can be broke. Oops, wrong button. We can be broke and still be able to fill up herbicide because of it being in our bulk tank there at the farm, so... Oh, we're not quite going to be able to get it all in the pass, are we? Nope. Oh, man. We're going to have a whole lot of overspray. This is where that uh, mod from FS17, the... Uh, oh, I think it was like variable spray control or something like that. Um, that's where that mod would come in handy. It's right here where there's only a few nozzles worth of a width to be sprayed. And instead we got to use the entire sprayer. That's alright. It's just a little tiny bit, so... We'll just get this knocked out and... Uh, Move on to our last two fields, get them sprayed. We'll be done spraying uh, wheat ground for the first round. We'll have first round of herbicide done. Alright, we'll get this guy folded up. This thing keeps dropping. Right, let's, let's, let's just go ahead and get this unfolded right away. And I'm probably just going to do it in a way where we kind of spray both fields at once. Just for the purpose of saving time. And because these fields are, you know, so close together like this, so might as well just go ahead and get it done and over with and out of the way. Spraying and fertile, you know, spraying and spreading anything are kind of my least favorite tasks to do. I'd much rather be doing field work, haying, or harvesting. Or, you know, the obvious selling grain to be making money. Well, that one I turned a little early on, so... I mean, I guess that's a little bit better, so to speak. Spraying is definitely one of the harder things to do in cab as well. 
mean, I like trying to do as much ink cab as I can, but sometimes, especially when it comes down to spraying and fertilizing, it just uh, doesn't quite work that way all the time. I'm just going to go ahead and back up and spin around just like this. And we'll go across down this end. Yeah, it's definitely a good sign that there aren't any weeds popped up yet. So we're kind of picking a good time to do this. Get ahead of the weeds. Which is always a plus. You always want to be staying ahead of the pests between bugs and weeds so well, there's a little bit that's popped up that's all I'm seeing so far is just that little area I can definitely live with that So I believe that our Demco tanks are empty, I think. I'm guessing that all of our herbicide that we currently are holding right now is all in our sprayer itself. That's That would be my guess anyways. I don't know why this is showing liters versus uh, gallons. Not too sure on that one. Might have to look and see. I know there's a way to change what it shows uh, while you're in the game you can switch it between like liters and gallons and you know, between liters and bushels and all that stuff so I have to look at that and change this to gallons instead of liters because I would rather it be showing gallons So we'll go ahead and we'll finish up this field and then we'll have probably about two passes in that other field and we'll be done we're only at 20 minutes so this will give us enough time to probably probably run this back to the farm quick maybe and uh, we'll we'll have enough herbicide left in here for a few fields yet so um, be able to just run this up to that field right away and then we might just run the truck up there or pick up up there so that way we got a vehicle up there up north in our fields oh, we just chairs pushing on a spot on my back that's starting to hurt Alright, we're going down along the edge here and 
Then we'll go back in the middle and pick up what's left. Alright, there we go. Last pass of spray and wheat ground for uh, the first round of herbicide that is. I don't know why this thing keeps like lowering itself. Kind of irritating. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab a screenshot before we hit the end of the field and there's nothing to take a screenshot of. I do really like about this uh, this tractor is that the fuel gauge actually um, goes with how much fuel is actually in the tractor. I like that aspect. Okay, it is lifted up. I just wanted to make sure. I still okay. Let's go ahead and throw our hazards on, and we'll go ahead and run on up north here. Demco tanks are starting to get a little dirty. We haven't even really put that many hours on this tractor yet since we cleaned her up. She's definitely getting dirty. Oh, really? You gotta be kidding. The tree's close enough to the edge of the road where it catches the tanks. Didn't think I was gonna get caught on that, but I guess I was wrong. That's all right. I'm just gonna pull this guy up alongside the edge of the field here. And then we'll go grab our truck.
going to run this up north just so we have it. In case we should need it. Or anything. Another part of me trying to play as realistically as possible. I mean, I should have done this from the beginning. So I wasn't tabbing around, but... Maybe we'll try and get better about that in the future. We'll get better about uh, not tabbing between vehicles. Either walking between them or, you know, like in this case where we're running this equipment up north here. Um, you know, putting the pickup on following me and just having to follow it up there. I go up there with it. better of an idea, I think, I guess. Not a bad truck. I wish the interior was a little bit nicer, but on the outside, she looks pretty good. button. I meant to hit a different one, not the one to shut the truck off. couple minutes but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call it a video here and we'll go ahead and uh, tomorrow we'll start planting soybeans or yeah soybeans my bad I'm getting myself all confused here we'll go ahead and we'll be getting soybeans start on planting soybeans um, with the old 71 fitty and we got four fields left to plant with this guy and then we'll be taking the uh, Great Plains home getting it washed up getting it put away and then we're gonna have to dig the Kinsey uh, out of our um, shop so um, that way we can pull that out and we can put in some soybeans with it and then we'll fast forward a couple days we'll spray our uh, Soybean ground and our sunflower ground get our corn planted go forward two more days and we'll be spraying our corn ground and then Going back on our wheat ground again, probably uh, that or we'll be spraying the wheat ground again after we spray our bean and sunflower ground but uh, anyways I'll Go ahead and shut that timer off that's going to do it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. And make sure you turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure you check out down below in the description where you can find my PC specs, my upload schedule, all my social medias, as well as links to some other cool YouTube channels that we're taking a look at. As always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.